victorious tomorrow at the end of the game. Uh, the question will be answered precisely uh, tomorrow. The players are talking to of both nations are actually talking to while the coach of South Africa really fancy the chances of the team uh, against the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And it's not going to be about the Eagles alone. There's going to be other games to be played uh, as far as the African Cup of Nations is concerned. On this note, I welcome you to the Friday edition of the Super Dawn Sport. The promises are to be a great and a wonderful time out here. Just want to say the ball rolling, but luckily, Philip is my name and I'm not in the studio alone. I've got Sukomi Adebowale joining me on the show this morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's morning to be here. It's always nice talking sport on Super Screen and we're anticipating a tough match tomorrow, no doubt about that. Mm. The South Africans came here, they did their best. And, you know, to the, to the great surprise of the whole nation, you know, beating the Super Eagles to new mm -hmm. background here. But going, you know, by what the you know, players are saying from both sides, I think a draw, you know, should be because the seashells, they, they've really done a lot for us mm -hmm. by, by, by drawing <laughs> at home, honestly. That, that draw, you know, we can't quantify it now Absolutely. until we get to the Nations Cup. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dotun joins us on the show. Dotun looks, you know, uh, when you look at Sukumi and you look at myself, it looks absolutely. <laughs> you know, is that, you know, you know, are you trying to go stone? No, I'm not. I'm not. I what, what, what are you trying to big do? Up, big up, big up, big up. I, I just <laughs> want to know. So I just want to know what you're It's good to have you on the show. Well, good morning, good morning. Like Sukumi said the other time, he's really going to be a firecracker and we should be expecting a a total fight out by the two teams and uh, uh, maybe uh, I'm just thinking that it, it is high time Nigeria need to re register their name among the headlights in Africa. All right, it's time to register our names among the allies. And you're talking about a team who uh, is in top form as we speak. You really want to like him. I uh, really want to talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria along with some top African uh, nation. Of course, as I said earlier, the, the, the stage is set and the die is cast. And they say, when two elephants battle, it is the grass that suffers. I'm sure that the grass at the FNB Stadium uh, will suffer tomorrow when hostilities uh, get underway between uh, the two countries. So, um, looking at this game, the South African, as I said earlier, came to Nigeria, they saw and they conquered. Do, what do you think will happen in South Africa? Is it a revenge mission on the part of the Super Eagles? We, you know, we, 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 don't, we, don't need to, we don't need to throw all our cards you know, on, the, on the table just like that. If we can get a draw, then it's enough for us. You understand? But in trying to get a draw, we should all go, you know, we should go out for the win. You understand? They say you reach for the sky. If you don't, you know, I mean, reach for the sky. If you don't get the sky, you fall among the moon. So let's just go for the kill. But you, the initial fear that Musa won't be playing you know, that one has been coached by Genan Raw. Yeah. He said Musa will be there, but so he's even looking at, you know, different kind of formations now to, you know, to, to really explore, you know, the, the pace of uh, Ahmed Musa as a standing captain. But, you know, you know against South Africans, you know, they realize their mistake against the Shells, drawing nil-nil, you know, to the team that they had earlier beaten, you know, more than four goals. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's a kind of, you know, a, a KG affair. But I, uh, just like you, you know, the, the coach said, if they don't concede early, I see the Super Eagles taking all the you know, three points. All right, um, Dotto, let's look at the, the tactics that we feel um, the coach, General George, will adopt in, the, in this one. Uh, what kind of tactics? You know, the South Africans are known to always pack the midfield. They try as much as possible to dominate the midfield. And from the pattern the coach has been playing in the last uh, few games, he tends to put in just three midfielders in the middle of the pack, pack and it almost backfired against the Libyans. What kind of pattern do you think the coach should play against South Africa tomorrow? Well, well I think our 4 3 3 formation will be quite ho okay. 4 3 3? Um, uh, Why I said 4 3 3 formation will be quite okay is the fact that if you look at the setting of the scene, you actually agree with me because we have three new feeders uh, in the camp, so we don't have much new feeders that can actually come to the field of playing and actually occupy one or two positions. We have uh, organic carriage. Oh, all right. Uh, hold on there. We have uh, a caller. Lukman, good morning. Uh, hello, good morning. Yeah, Lukman from Shomolu. Good morning. Uh, I, uh, good morning. I want to ask uh, if Nigeria gets low, what we do? Uh, we will not qualify for that which what we will qualify for. I didn't get that very well. Go on, you can uh, repeat the question. If you lose that match, 
tomorrow. Musa, if, 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 if we lose the match, that oh, game. If, if we lose the match tomorrow, we still have a chance of qualifying if we win our last game against Libya. Yeah, but so, I'm not, I, I, how many countries we, 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 we qualify out of that group? Oh, I did, I did. Is there how many teams will qualify from the group? Yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah. yeah. it depends on the number of points you are able to amass. And if you look at the South Africans, if the South Africans can actually, uh, if they get probably a draw or a win against the Super Eagles, probably if they get a draw and they're able to beat the Libyans, they also stand a chance of qualifying. If the Eagles loses tomorrow and we beat Libya, we still have a very good chance of qualifying among the best losers. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's your prediction for tomorrow's game? You said 2 new. Nigeria. All right, Amen. thank you very much Amen. Uh, for calling us on the show. Uh, let me let me switch attention to Sukomi. The midfield is key, and Otto is actually uh, telling, is saying we should adopt um, 4 3 3 formation, play three midfielders. But the South Africans know they, they tend to always dominate the midfield by yeah. putting in more, more individuals, yeah. players in the middle of the park. What's your take on, on that? Uh, considering the, uh, the, the, the likes of players we have in the camp right now, there is no Mikel. Mm. And the last match, uh, I think Joel Obi didn't, do, you know, he didn't do his best. He was not really, really impressed at all. But uh, I'm looking at this guy, Agu, and again, you know, a table. If they, yeah. if they can stand, if they can stand their ground, you know, their physical presence Agu in the midfield. And John Ogu. I mean, John Ogu. Agu, then you know, there is Agu, there is yeah, John. Okay, yeah. John Ogu. That, that, that was the reason for Hatch. Is it Ogu or Agu? Okay, so who, who do you prefer to in the middle? I prefer John Ogu. John Ogu. Yeah. And Okay, uh, Table. Table. And, and Indidi. And no Indidi. Indidi is not going to be. Uh, probably. Oh, um, um, Alex Wobi. Yes, Alex Wobi. You know, I said the other time that uh, if you consider the number of guys we have at the camp, talking about the new feeders, you are mm. definitely going to agree with me. Okay, we have some calling from Illuminati. All right, we have another caller, Ola Dayo from Illuminati. Good morning. Good morning, Ola Dayo. Hello. Oh, I think uh, we, we lost that call. So, like, like I said, you understand that if you consider the number of guys we have at the middle of the park, you're actually going to see that we have a whole lot in our hands to actually do. Uh, and like you said, that, that the, the South Africans know how to jump out the midfield only to limit uh, the movement of play of our teams playing against them. But for Nigeria, you know, we have the, the skillful, the patient, the strong, and the uh, powerful players at the middle of the park, which is really going to work in favor of Nigeria. Mm. The, uh, somebody like Ogene Kari Etebo and John Ogo, they have the power, they have the pace, they have the dribbling ability, they have the ball possession ability. So if they can actually come with their head game, the two of them especially, it's really going to hit the process of Alex will be going forward for Nigeria as a central midfielder. Mm. So what we need to All right, do... we'll hold on there. Uh, Deji from Ilubeju, good morning. Hello, Deji. Oh, I think we, we, we lost so what, what we need to do is to come with our head games. I know too well that these, two, these three guys can actually do the untakeable at the middle of the park. Mm. We can see what Ale, Alice will be um, do uh, uh, week in, week out with uh, Arsenal Football Arsenal. Club. We can see his, uh, his exploit, we can see his ability. Even when Nigeria played against Libya, you mentioned it. And you know, we all concluded that it was indeed Alice will be show. Sure, so yeah. let, let's hope that it's going to be his show once again. Mm. And uh, for the very first time in a very long time, as South Africa having two guys up front, playing their three that brought not in South Africa, one in France and one in Belgium. And these yeah, two guys and one been, in France has been scoring for they be, yeah. Yes, week in, week out, yes. yes. they've been, they've been fantastic. Mm. And the last time they, they both play, uh, play up front for South Africa, they won by six goes to zero. Mm. So we, sh we should be aware of this and we, we need to do everything possible to make sure that uh, uh, we limit the pace of South Africa. If we can slow down the pace of the game, mm. they will actually be. That's honest. exactly what the Libyans did. They the, the, them to the, play. Exactly. You need exactly. to you know, slow down the pattern. pace. This is of where the professionalism game. comes in. If, you know, for mm. our defenders not to lose focus, they just be. You know, the problem of Super Eagles all the, you know over the years has always been loss of focus. Mm. You know, we say that even if we are leading. You know, our opponents tend to believe that, you know, 89 minutes, 90 they minutes, lose, that uh, the Eagles will lose focus. Mm. You understand? So, this is where professionalism comes in. You know, concentrate on the game, fast-paced strikers, 
you know, against us. When you slow down the tempo of the game, the opponent that plays on, you know, on pace, they tend to like, you know, get frustrated. Mm. You understand? So, and you, you know, the ball will be at your own advantage. You know, mm. play, we, and we have our own, you know, pace strike. I mean, pace strikers also. I mean, Simon Moses. Simon Moses. Uh, you know, Simon Moses. No, no, Simon Moses. Yeah, we, let's talk about Mohamed Musa, Isaac Sussex. This guy is a big uh, fan uh, of uh, all Who do you think will should lead the attack? I, 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 I think I'm going to be asking uh, Sukumi about the goalkeeping department because Jelotro has been completely uh, quiet about it. Um, I, I, I think uh, Isaac Success, Ahmed Musa, and uh, Samuel Kadu that has actually been doing well, or Samuel Chukwizi. He does the Chukwizi. All right, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't, I don't want that guy, you know. You know <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want Kalu guy. I don't want, I don't want Kalu because I don't want Kalu. You understand? Because in, in the last two, you know, in the last two matches, well, I think you know, Samuel Kalu, he's been selfish. We know that. Mm. But but sometimes let me tell you, it is good if a, a striker is selfish. Sometimes no, when, no, when, no, you are, no. when you are leading, when you are leading no, the line, no, no. when you are leading, no, no. when you are leading no, no. the line, if this wouldn't see gave him a go against Libya, have you forgotten that? Excuse me, let, let, let me just quickly borrow a leaf. There, there is an accusation against William of Chelsea. Mm. Just a square ball to Morata to tap in in the last match against Everton. You understand? And the, the whole team got into the dressing room and accused him that why did you, why did you do that? Mm. He just played the shot and the shot, you know, slightly hit the, the, the what's it called, the post. You know, Let's and went out. What actually you don't happens. need to be selfish yeah. when you see your striker up front. It don't do the best. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I said sometimes strikers need to be selfish. That sometimes. That's 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 that sometimes that's 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 the goalkeeper, of course. Uh, the goalkeeper. who should man the post uh, tomorrow? Among the three. Among the three. <laughs> I prefer so. It's always it's always out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Let's, 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 let's go for a queen. A queen. A queen. Okay. No, no, no. no, no. That's the choice. <laughs> You? I, I, I think our fellow Kai should be the man to man the post. All right. For the fact that he has been fantastic <laughs> in the same time. That it's will okay. have to be determined by uh, the coach, uh, General Tro. And the Baxter is really, uh, is, is, um, he fancies uh, the chances of uh, South Africa getting a win against Nigeria. While uh, General Tro is saying uh, they're going to be missing the services of Wilfred Didi and Odion Ihalo. We wish the team the very best and we just hope that uh, we will be the team and to celebrate at the end of the game. Still talking about outcome qualifiers. Uh, for other, let's quickly look at them, the features of games to be played in other countries. South, South Sudan will take on Burundi, while Egypt and Tunisia will also uh, be slugging it out. Both teams are ready to, uh, to uh, Cameroon. Equatorial Guinea will trade tackles with Senegal, Sen Senegalese are also through Gambia, will slug it out with Benin Republic, while Togo will also be playing against Algeria. Madagascar, true to the Nations Cup, will take on Sudan. Ethiopia will be up against Ghana. Ghana must win this one, while Mozambique will also be slugging it out with Zambia. Congo against Dia Congo. Both teams haven't really been doing very well. And of course, Guinea uh, will slug it out with Cop de Voix. And then uh, Senegal and uh, Madagascar, as we, say, as we said earlier, they are playing for pride uh, in Group A, while Cameroon are topping uh, Group B with eight points. And the Cameroonians, I think uh, they are just playing it uh, just to. Of course, keep, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, more or less like friendly for them. To, to, uh, you know, one, one among the major challenges both nations normally have is are not playing competitive football before the tournament yeah. and actually do affect them. I, I, I see this as a welcome development if other nations can actually adopt this. When you are to host, make sure you engage in qualifying seeds to keep you in top form mm -hmm. so that you can actually have it at the back of your mind that you are fighting to qualify for the tournament. All right, Uganda uh, will also uh, be playing this weekend against uh, Cape Verde. Uh, I'm going to no, no, okay. Um, I'm Tanzania. Tanzania, yeah, I beg your pardon. Uh, they will also be uh, playing this weekend. Do you see Tanzania, you know, um, getting a win in, in this weekend's game? The, his first game, he lost. The second game, he won. He won. Uh, yeah. The first game, he drew. The second, second game, game, he won. won. Yeah, he drew it against uh, Uganda. Yeah, Uganda. And the third yeah. game now against Tanzania, I, I think he's really, the players will be actually. Uh, backing from that particular euphoria the, uh, of the field victory they had against uh, in their last game uh, to, uh, to venture into this. But mm -hmm. I, I think uh, um, Cape Verde have everything working for them. 
uh, in recent years, if you look at it in African football, they've been uh, uh, this boogie team to the bigger teams in African nations. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think they, 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 Tanzania needs to do something. They need to keep them at bay to make sure mm -hmm. they win this particular one. If oh, they want right. to qualify for this one. Because a win for them against Cape Verde put them in a position to qualify for the Nations Cup. All right, uh, we'll wait to see how things uh, will pan out. And also we are wishing uh, Emmanuel Amunike all the best because he's really, uh, you know, he's really keen, he's enthusiastic about the chances. Uh, oh, you, you, you won't, you won't, you won't uh, wish him best if he's playing against survivors. <laughs> <laughs> but he <laughs> said he would be very happy to see himself play against survivors. All right, uh, let's uh, look at um, one of uh, European nations that lead game Croatia against uh, Spain. Uh, surprise one in one sentence, Spain lost at a team defeated 6-0. Yeah, look at what we said, you know, in the first match against Spain, in, 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 that they were they were still jet lag, you know, recovering from the you know from the stress of the World Cup, okay. and that was why they lost. You remember, you know, they, they lost to Spain, they drew against England. Yes. But yesterday, out there in their in their in their you know at their own front, mm. it was fantastic. Three All two. right. All right. We really want to thank you, gentlemen, for coming on the show. So come thanks for coming. Thanks. Nice so being here. Nice we'll well. do it together in the afternoon. Yeah. All right. We'll go on this short break, and when we come back, Vera will join me on set. Do stay tuned.